I play Pa, who is um, father to body and will and uh, husband to Ma, played by Katrina Balf. And I, I think Pa is ultimately a really good person trying to do right by his family. And he's um, like everyone in, in Northern Ireland at the time is sort of forced into this very difficult position of trying to make big life decisions that benefit the family and, and try to get through these very um, severe times that are, that are, that are happening around uh, Belfast in 1969. Um, but ultimately he's, 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 he's trying to do the right thing for his, his young family. And um, so he works as a, in the building trade as a, as a joiner and a lot of his work is bringing him over to England already. So then when, the, when there's the opportunity to escape all the troubles that are happening in the north of Ireland, he, he takes an opportunity and, and uh, tries to help his family. I sort of didn't base him. I mean, you know, I, I have the luxury of being from Belfast and um, having a father from Belfast and uncles from Belfast and, you know, lo lots of, uh, you know, um, men in, in my life and my, my, my mates' fathers. And, um, you know, I, I feel like I've got a pretty good grasp. I mean, there's definitely elements of his character that I kind of associated with people that have been in, in, uh, in my life in some way growing up. and. Um, yeah, I felt like I had a little bit of a head start with that in terms of shaping Pa because I, I know what a man from Belfast is pretty well, you know, so that was helpful. I get a sort of text from my agent saying, uh, Kenneth Brown, I would like to talk to you about something are you free tomorrow? <laughs> it's like, you don't get those texts very often, you know, uh, and I was thinking, great, he wants me to be, you know, an extra in, uh, in a movie or something, and I'll, <laughs> I'll definitely talk to him about that. Um, so they sent the script, I think maybe that even that evening, it all happened very fast. And then suddenly I read this script. As soon as I saw the title, Belfast, I thought, oh, hold on a second, this could, uh, this could be something really, really interesting. Not very often you get a script sent, um, then the title is your, your hometown and it's with such esteemed uh, people involved in it, like, like Ken. So, um, read the script straight away. And, and I think the next day I, I spoke to, to Ken on, uh, on a sort of FaceTime call and uh, just instantly, as I imagined I would, was sort of uh, connected to him and saw how much this material and being from Belfast meant to him. And uh, obviously being from Belfast means a lot to me also. So being able to riff off him in terms of talking about what that what that feels like, you know. I felt a lot of pride, you know. Um, Ken's amazing at, at sort of bringing out the, all the core goodness of people from home, you know, and uh, no matter what side of the divide you're on and no matter what people go, have gone through back home, we have always, I think, <laughs> slightly biased, but I think we are in the north of Ireland you know, we, we sort of insert humor and everything and we try to see the best in every situation. I think maybe in all of Ireland, it's like that too, you know, that's, it, it, it's an island that has gone through a lot of pretty rough uh, situations over uh, centuries and hasn't always been treated that well, let's say, and haven't treated each other that well, let's say that also. And I think we've had to sort of use humor to sort of combat that and get through those situations. So um, I think, uh, Ken really drew out that humor from the people there, which um, I really respected. But it's, it's a joyful script in many respects, considering the, you know, the, the very troubling aspects of what's happening and the backdrop of what is starting to happen uh, in, in Belfast at that time and the fractions that are uh, starting to occur and the division and the uproar and the violence. Um, there is still humor and there's, 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 there's people trying to live their lives and make these decisions. I mean, I think it's quite a, in the best way, it's, it's difficult to describe. I think it is kind of, uh, Ken and I were talking about this on set the other day about how, it, you know, I think it's going to serve so many people. You know, I do think like everyone in the family could, could watch this and get something from it again, because it's, 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 it's joyful, but it's, um, you know, there's, there's heartbreak in there. There's big, big themes, there's big decisions. There's, leaving a life behind um but it's also funny i think it's funny 
you know, I think there's loads of humor in it, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's sort of got this strain of like this very relatable um, sort of empathy throughout it, you know, and these decisions that are being made that uh, I think any family can imagine themselves in these situations trying to make these decisions that are really tough and le leaving a whole life, the only life you know, and leaving that behind. I mean, it must have been brutal to make those decisions then. And so not only have I not really worked with an actor as a director before, I've never worked with an actor who's such an actor, such a powerhouse of an actor, such a respected, you know, lauded actor. And um, I've loved every second of it. And the benefit of that uh, are so many and plentiful. But my favorite aspect of working with a, a, an actor as a director is he is so mindful of where your head's at at all times as an actor. The day before a big scene, of course, the day of a big scene, the day after a big scene, he's so cognizant of where you are in your head. Because a lot of us as actors, we're often in our head about stuff and we're worried about how things are going to play out. And, you know, the day before, he, I mean, we had a, a, a relatively complicated scene. And the day before, Ken was sort of, I mean, how do you want to play it tomorrow? Would you rather we started wide and came in, worked up towards your close up, or would you rather just straight off the bat do your close up and get that when the energy's fresh in the morning? You know, directors don't ask you those sort of questions a lot of the time. You know, you just sort of turn up and they're doing it their way and you just fall in line, you know? So um, that aspect of it I, I've loved. And 